Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4. Kaiser at the KMT. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, we have pushed our way into Beijing. We're doing, I, I, overall, I, I think we're doing pretty well. We've taken Shanghai. We stopped all the Japanese naval invasions. And that, that's kind of, like, I think the hard part. Once you've dealt with the initial Japanese invasion... Why well, say that? Now we're kind of just stuck fighting an ungodly amount of Japanese troops. Which, yeah, I mean, the Japanese units are just strictly better than ours. Which is a major problem. Actually, can I make, um... Yeah, we have the supplies for you. So while I can't make the entire army... This, I mean, this is looking... I mean, this is about as best as we can get, so... I, I really shouldn't be complaining. Okay, so let us now pursue the people's welfare. Well, you need five second construction speed. I mean, that's okay. This this bandmate conference. Thing is, I can't just. I don't know if this is going to get rid of a bunch of our divisions. There's a chance that it, like these spawns a certain division type. And that's something I simply like, cannot risk. Is there anything else? I mean, we could maybe go for modern NRA down here. Uh, war support. Birth pace of revolution. Fa I mean, 10% factory output, actually. That's yeah, pretty nice. And the port is in this province here. Like, the thing is, like, we actually just have too many units on this front. Okay, Transmere's trying to land. We've rejected their naval push, which is good. How many planes do they have? Honestly, nowhere near as many as I was expecting. I was expecting something way, 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 way worse. But 98-94. Oh, yeah, we're going to get pushed out of here, but that's kind of fine. Do I take purple out of here? And send them to maybe... You know what? Yet, yeah. I'm going to actually delete purple army. I'm going to move them on the border with Mongolia. I know this seems a little strange, but like... I was going to say trust me, but... One, like, we don't have enough supplies here anyways to fund all these units. So Purple Army might as well just not be here at the moment. And we did get more cores, which is nice. We cored most of Southern China. So hopefully soon we can actually core, you know, Central China as well. Thing is, we can hold the line. I'm not worried about getting pushed back at all. We have the manpower to survive. Like, the, the weapons... We have 7,000 7, guns in storage. So the gun situation is actually alright as well. If we can kill Mongolia, we can actually open up more fronts in... Um, more fronts against the Fetian government, which is something we might... I mean, we do have interest in doing that. So where is there another naval invasion way in the south? Again, we have units already there. This, this is why we have these units deployed. Was to try to stop this exact thing from happening. How many, how many factories did the Japanese have? Probably a pretty substantial amount. Th only 38, really? We actually have almost as many military factories as the Japanese Empire? Oh, yeah, we're actually way better off than I thought we were. Resistance at 26%. We're at 112,000 casualties. The Japanese are now coming here full force. We've won 69% nice of our battles. Hunan clique is now all cored, which gives us even more manpower. And I guess any factory they did have, we now basically have uh, control over. Where are these? You're blown up. Okay, you're 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 way far down south. So I'm not gonna worry about these railroads too too much. Orbital National Revolution. Cannot do you because we don't actually own Beijing. Let's go pursue the people's welfare. We also have national reconstruction. I mean, like, right now, I don't know... If... That's what we should be doing at this exact time. Oh, we have we actually have to do this. We have a time limit. We need 107 factories. And we have to complete a bunch of focuses. Okay. 
Civilian, civilian factory. Civilian. Any of you give me, uh... Well, I guess I will take you, because you're the most expensive. Be done in 90 days. Okay. We need, we need political power for all of this as well. But I will join your war against Mongolia. We're going to push your way to this city. You're going to push your way to this city. You guys are going to push your way to Ordos. Ordos actually is not even a Mongolian city, but I need as many cities as I can get. Of course, we need to do take uh, Urga. Do we need more rifles? We need more artillery pieces. Yeah, and for that, we actually need more steel. Is there anyone we can trade with that doesn't require us to have convoys? Apparently the French. Apparently that actually doesn't need any convoys. Okay. Maybe we're going through, like, India? But, I mean, that doesn't make a ton of sense. Yeah, so I want you here and then going over to Moran. My clique. Okay, so the, the, that war is actually just over. I mean, that, that works out fine for me. Purple army. Delete your plan then. I'm guessing me taking a single Mongolian city was enough for them to be like, you know what? You've won this one. Well played. I'm going to put purple army here. I'm going to shrink green army here. And then red army is going to be in the middle. Does this make sense? I don't really know. And the, and, um, the Fenian government and, and uh, my colleague do border here. So that is important. And if we get 40 political power, we can probably make Mac into our puppet state, which I think could be important for us. And I hear the naval invasion sounds. It sounds bad, but I think we should be okay. And in fact, like, if the Japanese or whoever land troops, like, in this province, that's actually kind of better for us. Because they're just going to get killed off, like, super, super quickly. I do want to still surround this port. If you can surround that port a little faster, I would be happy. But your supplies are still so bad, even though you're right next to the supply hub. I wish you would uh, just be a little better. Because why do I have no... Because we have slow supply. Supply states are scaled to 22% due to not having full control of the states. Okay. Limited rail by railroad level 15. From supply hubs 9.3. I mean, it said that we should have supplies remaining in province. So you don't know, actually... I'm going to do a quick save and I'm going to quickly reload. We'll be right back. Now, I don't know if that's going to fix the supply issues, but... Sometimes it does. Sometimes it just gives the game a little quick reload. It kind of figures things out. Like, why does, like, one unit here cap out supplies? Is there, like, a... I'm going to upgrade railroads if I can. Well, I guess it's just upgrading the uh, the naval base. Which I mean is kind of okay. Popularity of social democracy. Let's go like 1%. Let, 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 let's go for you. We'll go for the steady choice. So I am Jordan the Corpse of Sphere. See, that was like the kind of the one thing I was hoping that they wouldn't do. Let's just take seven divisions here. Your only job is to go to the border of Siam, please. What I really want is for Japan to clear war on Germany. If Japan and Germany were to go to war, it would distract the Japanese. Hopefully long enough for them to f fuck off. Okay, I want you going along the coast if you can. Like, you have supplies in Beijing. But that's, like, really about it. And we want to take Jande as well. Hold you down. If we can push away towards a river, I feel like that'd be a good accomplishment. Uh, do we have our doctrine ready to go? We need 100 army power for that. I mean, we can theoretically push our way into Siam, but I don't see that as being a great use of our resources. And of course, now we have the fun game of trying to cross a river. <laughs> Which, as we all know, always works out really, really well. You have, like, no supplies up here. If we were actually maybe connect you here, build that railroad up. Do 
You'll be finished on the 10th. And I'll kind of connect you to our greater supply network. Can you just let me, like, over? The four elders demand, uh, denounce Wang. Long respected among Chinese leftists for organizing Chinese workers and students uh, in the diligent work study program, the four elders of the Kuomintang hold an electric view of anarchism and its role within the Kuomintang. Uh, Li Shijian, one of the elders of the World Society, has proposed that the Kuomintang adopt a federal, uh, federation based on Proton's principle. The federation would be a combination of land, local and central governments, with the goal of decentralizing power to regional bodies. However, given the political situation in China, a degree of central authority uh, would still be in government hands until anarchism could be achieved. They make a fair point, or they need to get with the times. We're in the middle of a war, Grandpa. This isn't, this isn't the, the time to decentralize our... Uh, our entire system. Give me... What do I even take, man? Uh, 1941 artillery upgrade. Sounds good to me. Let's go for next level of army reform. Because we're currently at... Reforms in progress. So it's not the worst. I mean, our units are still, like, not good. By any stretch of the, of the word. But right now, they're not terrible. You're 917. I don't want him to take the port for obvious reasons. But if we can hold the river, which we're going to do in a second, Red Army, do not go this far up north. It doesn't accomplish any of our goals. I'm going to send some of purple here. And I guess they can move up towards, maybe they can take like Harbin from the north. If that's that's a, kind of a crazy plan. But I mean, it could theoretically work, right? Pursuit of people's welfare. You know what? Give me the research slot. And how is the rest of you guys doing? You're all looking good. You're all looking good. But your supplies are still... are still so bad. And I still honestly, like, don't really know why. I don't know why your supplies are so bad. So you're on default by integration. Okay. That seems good. It gives us a core once you get... Okay, so once you get enough compliance, it gives us a core. Excellent. So how many Japanese troops have died, certainly? 77,000... I mean, we're, we're doing well, I would say. The Fending government does still have a surprisingly large army. How much, um, how many factions do they have? Eight. So our military is definitely better than theirs. If you can maybe surround some Japanese divisions, I think that could be meaningful. Okay, maybe, maybe we can't do that. Okay, we've got a small encirclement here. Take out one Japanese motorized division. If it can take out one Japanese division, I'm going to take it, like, no matter what. Is it because the railroad is broken? I mean, it could be, yes. Like, the supplies just aren't actually getting through. Eight troops here. You guys should be fine... In the south, actually, it might take like two of you off. I mean, right now we're just heavily outnumbered, right? Six seventy-eight versus minimum one million, up to two million troops. Japan needs to do something, but the second Valkyrie hasn't begun yet. And when the second Valkyrie begins, Japan should hopefully go to war with somebody else, anybody else. Because we kind of need them to be distracted. See if we can maybe get an encirclement here. Yeah, because our, our penalty is just pretty high. Low supply minus 60%. I still need red to stop trying to uh, go to places they don't need to be at. Loop you around like this. I mean, there, there's, there's a lot of enemy forces. There are there are a lot of people in here, and we are not happy 
really about any of them. Do we try to push our way into Siam? There's no reason to do so, I think. I don't think there actually is any reason to do it. Okay, yeah, the Japanese army though is just, is just outright better than ours, and we are losing some ground now, which I am worried about for sure. How many guns do we have? We have fourteen thousand. Give me another duplicate, just like nothing else. Actually, we should have a lot of support equipment left over. So give me a copy of the copy with no artillery pieces at all. And what are we missing once we get down to here? Rifles? Yes, okay. So give me 10. Okay, there's the second Vilkri. Give me 10 divisions here. Yeah, because Transavia, they are they're probably the Japanese, which means they're not gonna get involved in the Russian war. Which is also a little bit annoying. Because if Russia and Japan went to war, I think that would give me some nice benefits. But for now, this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So if you enjoyed, thumbs up. Not enjoy, thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.